Last year, LaPelle and Heritage Christian played a pair of thrilling games with the Eagles getting the win in late September, but the Bulldogs came out on top in November's sectional championship. They were back on the field today. The future Eagles amped up cheering on Heritage Christian. LaPelle here, though, with the ball. Devin Craig with the pass. Nick Witte the catch, and Witte coming down the near sideline gets a solid gain there down to about the 25-yard line. On that drive, handoff to Riley Hudson. Hudson nowhere to go at first, but nearly falls down, fights through the tackle, and gets into the end zone. That's a touchdown for LaPelle. Heritage trying to answer. Quarterback is hit as he throws, and that's going to spell trouble for Heritage Christian as LaPelle's witty picks it off. LaPelle with the victory, 29 to 15. Homecoming at Bishop Chittard, reigning 3A champions, facing the 2A runners-up Andrean. Trojans here with the ball. The pass to Harrison Forstall. On the far side, Forstall makes the catch, breaks a few tackles, and he is moving the chains over there. Now, the screen pass to Jack Waybright. Waybright, not, that's not the screen. The screen's coming up here off the play action fake. There's the wide receiver screen as Waybright makes the catch, makes one cut, and, and gets into the end zone. 41 to nothing, Bishop Chittard victorious. A gorgeous evening in central Indiana tonight. Garen Catholic visiting Northview. The Knights took the opening kickoff, and Tyler Lee takes it 20 yards to the house for the touchdown. That's a Garen Catholic touchdown right there. Peter Rooney for the score. The Knights would come back, though, as Tyler Lee Breaks free for 54 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. Garen Catholic, winners tonight on the road, 29 to 24. For a buff at Terre Haute South tonight, fourth and in, in the fourth quarter, Maverick Gesky by Taylor Clark. That's their third touchdown of the day. It gave for buff the lead, but then Terre Haute South responds as Zaire White runs it in for his third score of the night, made it 22. 32-25 with just two minutes to go. Last chance as the clock runs out for Buff, chucks it to the end zone, but it falls incomplete. Braves with the win, 32-25. to Terre Haute South Braves. Time now to announce the winner of last week's Shelbourne Knee Center. Play of the game, we check in on Cecina, the Crusaders on defense. Joe Alerco jumps in front of the Lutheran screen pass and Gets the pick six. Great anticipation, reaction, and speed. Congrats to Joe, winner of the Shelbourne Knee Center play of the game.